Jiggy cat on a damn feeling spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a centipede. Hello, everyone. This is Nagato's Revenge, and welcome back to my channel. For today's tutorial, I will be showcasing on how to convert .bin PlayStation 1 games to eboot.pbp files and make official live bubbles for your live area. With that being said, as well, please be sure to follow my social media so you know the latest hacking guides and tutorials from my channel. And with that being said, as well, if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form, you can feel free to donate via by my PayPal. I'll have a link in the description below, or right now on the screen, you could just go ahead and type in the url link of course that is purely optional but with that being said out the way we could go ahead and get started on the things you need and the prerequisites you'll need for this video and every uh item i'll use in this video will be downloads in the link in the description below so first things first you need a modded playstation vita or a ps tv via using the hankaku or the hon core or the trinity hack as well your system needs to be on 3.60 to 3.70 firmware to run any of those exploits as well you need to be on the latest version of Vita Shell. You also need to download the latest version of Adrenaline Bubble Manager, and this is where basically um, you could tap your PlayStation 1 games on your live area for your Vita instead of going into Adrenaline in itself, and it's much faster to boot your games that way. And also, you need a PlayStation 1 game cover art or box art. So, in this case, in this video, I'm going to be showcasing Gran Turismo 1. So, I'm going to be having Gran Turismo 1 uh, cover art for this process as well. Of course, you need any PlayStation 1 game that is in .binq format as well and depending on how you want to transfer your files via either files of the FTP client or you're going to use your USB charging cable to plug in with Vita Shell. I do recommend for uh, this process to use your USB charging cable since uh, transferring files is faster but since I'm going to be using this uh, my Vita for streaming I can't use that method so I'm going to be using files of the FTP client and with that being said out the way you will need a program on your PC called PSX to PSP exe and this tool will basically will allow us to convert our dot bin playstation one games to dot pbp files which is the whole purpose of this tutorial for today and as well you're going to need your game's content id so for example like i was saying earlier i will be playing gran turismo and my version for gran turismo i'm going to be using is for the us so i need to go ahead and find my content id that corresponds with the us version of gran turismo which in this case is sue or excuse me scus-94 194 yours will be of course different than this content id depending on your game and also the region of your game so if you have a japanese one it will be different or if you know you have a european one it will also be different or if you have any you know special editions so it's very important that you have that step as well and here are some tips and reminders for the cover art and the dimensions so you can go ahead and pause the video right here maybe open up a txt or something on notepad just to type this down or take a picture on your phone but when you set up your icon zero png it has to be formatted added in this size so i'm going to be showcasing that today as well so via with paint you could also do this with photoshop but most people have paint if they want a uh, windows 10 or you could use an online converter it's kind of the same method and this is basically uh later on once the whole process is finished this is the directory we're going to be putting our ps1 games into so our vita can find it and also adrenaline bubble manager girl or excuse me manager can find that as well uh but with that being all stated out the way we could give a special thanks to one lua development team for you know making adrenaline of uh, the bubble manager and as well the official flow for making you know a multitude of hacks and exploits in the scene along with uh vita shell and i just want to give a big shout out and a thank you to all of my fans and supporters who always you know watch my content so thank you guys for watching and with all that being said we could go ahead and get into the video meet you guys there. Alrighty guys, so assuming that you did follow all of the prerequisites as stated in the intro, what we need to do now is go ahead and get started on the PC portion of the tutorial. So before getting stated as well, we're going to go through each file. So here's the adrenaline bubble manager.vbk and as stated in the intro, there will be downloads for any items I'll use in this video. Here is a zip folder that will be zipped up once you get it and download it to your uh, PC. It's basically just PSX to PSP and then basically this is just the uh, dot exe that will allow us to convert our playstation 1 game file that is a dot bin to a dot ppp file which is the purpose of this tutorial as well 
and as well what we're going to need for our video today is our game of choice so here's gran turismo.bin and here's also the cover art i do recommend that y'all guys get a cover art that is pretty big in size and is pretty clear if you do want the best clarity on your live area for your little bubble just so it looks like kind of an official app from sony but with that being stated as well we got all the files out the way what we need to do is go ahead and you can open up google chrome we need to find our game's content id and as stated in the intro the easiest way on how to do this is just go into google as shown here i typed in grass reasonable content id playstation one and the first site i noticed that usually tells all of the content id for most games is gamefaculties.gamespot so just go ahead and click on the link and as shown here you see the product id or you know the content id for the game so since my game is from the united states here is my content id of choice so that's what i'm going to do just go ahead and copy that down or you could just rememorize it but for example if you had the japanese version of gran turismo or the europe it will be different of course but make sure you get your content id from anywhere from the um online or whatever and it'll be in this kind of format so it'll be scps depending on what region you're from if you're from japan and stuff like that but with that being stated out the way as well what i have here is a little txt just to for some reminders so we're going to keep our content id here and once we make our icon 0 png it has to be formatted in this format so before we even get started on you know converting our bin file to a .pbp file let's go ahead and work on our box art and getting it converted over to this size dimension so what i'm going to do now is just minimize this go right click over my box art of choice and I'm going to go to open with you could do this in Photoshop as well, but most people may not have Photoshop since it costs money. And what you could go ahead and just open it up with paint as shown here. What we need to do is go ahead and resize our image, go to pixels and where it says maintain aspect ratio. Just go ahead and minimize that as well. And then just to be sure, I'm going to go ahead and have this on the side. We're going to go ahead right here and type 144 and 80 vertical then hit OK and this is what basically it should look like right here so let me go ahead and maximize this screen we're gonna go ahead and save this file as a file save as a PNG and what we're gonna save this file name is icon 0 in all capital letters so icon 0 dot PNG and I'm gonna just put this on my desktop so it will be in the same area so you guys can see so I'm gonna go ahead and let me move this to the side. I'm gonna copy my content ID since we're gonna need this later, but I'm gonna just minimize this now. So as shown here, we have our icon zero PNG from the original box art of my game. I'm gonna put that to the side. And what we need to do now is go ahead into our PXS to PSP folder. I'll have a link in the description below for that as well. We're gonna open up PSX to PSP. This is gonna allow us to convert our bin file to basically a .pbp. So the first thing what we need to do is go into our convert menu, and then basically we gotta select our ISO. So right here, I'm gonna tap on these three dots right here, and now I'm gonna go to my desktop, and I'm gonna go ahead and find my game of choice. So this is grandturismo.bin right here, and as shown here, and basically will tell you the game title ID. And if the game could actually search or find the content ID itself, it would automatically tell it. But for most case, I'll just tell people to, you know, look it up just to ensure that it's on the same uh, game ID and also the save ID. But in this case, if you're uh, been or basically the bin file didn't pop up the information, you could just go ahead and manually enter that in. So my game title is Gran Turismo. My save title, I'm just gonna go ahead and name that Gran Turismo as well. And then for our output, where we're gonna go ahead and transfer this file over, what we're gonna do is basically just manually put this out to our desktop as well. And then where it says options here, or customize.bbp, we're gonna go ahead and find our pick zero PNG file, or excuse me, our icon zero PNG file that we just made via with paint. So it already found it for me since I already set it up, but in your case, you probably don't have this set up. So you just have to find your file of choice and the one that we just labeled icon zero PNG and also the dimensions and also for 144 to 80, just go ahead and select that version of it and then right now what we need to do is go ahead and we could just go to convert menu we could go ahead and minimize this 
and then we could go ahead and convert our ISO. So right now what's doing is basically converting our .bin file to a .pbp file as shown here. And it may take a little second for it to do its thing depending on the game size as well. And with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and pause the video right here. And then once that process is finished, the .pbp file will be on our desktop for us to transfer to our PlayStation Vita or PSTV. So meet you guys once that process is finished. Moments later. Alrighty guys, so as shown here, basically the process has finished from the PSX to PSP GUI. What we could do now, if you basically see the screen, you could just go ahead and hit OK. Exit out of pop station right here. And you should get a random folder on your desktop that states your content ID name for your game, as well as if you go into it, your eboot.pbp file. So this is basically Gran Turismo converted from a dot pbp to a bin so this will work for your vita as well so what we're going to do now is just go ahead and leave this file right here and now we're going to go and transfer over our game itself or not the game but the eboot itself and also adrenaline bubble manager so we could get this working for our vita so i'm going to just drag in over this stuff that is not needed no more so we could you know make it a little more cleaner on our screen but what i'm going to do now is go ahead and boot up FileZilla FTP client just to get that started as well. I have a link in the description below. But if you guys don't want to uh, transfer files, or, or excuse me, files from FTP method, you could go ahead and plug in your USB cable, which I do recommend for this process, since uh, transferring game files may be taking longer depending on how fast your internet wants to transfer over from your Vita to PC. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave FileZilla open up from here, and then I'm going to go into OBS so you could see my Vita right now. So as shown on the screen here is my PlayStation Vita all in live time. Right now what I'm going to do is go ahead and open up Vita Shell. So if you're on uh, HON Core or you're using something else like that and you need to boot up uh, Trinity Exploit or HON Core first, do that. But since I'm running Hankaku Enzo, I don't have that as well. But what I need to do now is go ahead from Vita Shell. I'm going to go ahead and back out. Since I am FTPing, I'm going to go ahead and hit Start. As y'all guys, if y'all FTP and y'all should do the same, but if y'all not doing that and doing USB, just scroll all the way down using your D-pad and then either hitting left or right or D-pad, you could toggle whether if you want to transfer files via USB or your FTP, but since we're doing FTP, go ahead and do this. And then if I go ahead and hit select, it's going to showcase my PlayStation Vita's IP and along with the port. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and minimize this. You could just keep your Vita or your PSTV on the screen like that. And then right now, I'm I'm going to go into FileZilla FTP client as shown here and then the same IP yours will be different than mine's just go ahead and type yours in this host bar and then where it says port which is always 1337 for the Vita just go ahead and hit quick connect as should um, on the screen you should see all your directories if you don't in Hankaku settings make sure you um, untick unsafe homebrew or make sure it's checked I should say but what we need to do is go into UX0 or just hover over it and we need to go and just drag and drop our adrenaline bubble manager vpk to our memory card which is ux0 and then we could go into ux0 scroll all the way down let me make this big screen so you can see it better uh scroll all the way down go into psp mu and then where it says psp and then game this is where we're going to basically dump our game of choice or our playstation one game that has been converted to a .pbp file so this folder right here the one that has our game of choice so this is gran turismo we're just going to go ahead and drag it via from here from our desktop to pc and as shown here it may take a little while for it to transfer it shouldn't take too long since it's only like 600 megabytes but what i'm going to do here is just pause the video and then once that is done as well i'll come back for you know to showcase the next step so i'll meet you guys back on the screen Hey guys, so I'm back on the PC and as shown here basically my files has transferred over successfully and it did take a quite a while since I was FTP in it over but since that is all said and done what I'm going to do here is just go ahead and boot back into my Vita as shown here I'm going to go ahead and cancel out my FTP server but what we're going to do now is go into UX0 aka our memory card scroll all the way down and we should see our adrenaline bubble manager VPK I'm just going to install it like any other uh, VPK before so make sure your unsafe homebrew settings is unticked so you can install you know homebrew files to your vita 
but as shown here it shouldn't take too long for it to install and as well once this process installed as well we're going to go to our psp emu folder just to see our game has successfully transferred over so as shown here if i scroll all the way up to psp emu slash go into the psp slash folder right here go into game you're going to see basically my game of choice right here which is basically uh gran turismo so what i'm going to do is go ahead and back out of vita shell and if i scroll all the way down um here is the general one bubble manager right here so this program we're going to be needing to basically set up our game of choice so it could get to our live area and as shown here what is doing now is basically it's installing our adrenaline bubble uh, booter and what happens after this we're going to have to start our playstation vita since to scan all of the uh libraries in ux0 to find all of our playstation 1 or psp games so what i'm going to do now is just go ahead and do that so i'm going to pause the video right here and come back to my vita once that process is done Alright guys, so as shown here, basically the adrenaline bubble.vpk has successfully uh, installed and I restarted my PlayStation Vita. What I'm going to do now is just go ahead and boot up adrenaline bubble manager once again. And then once that pops up, I'll explain on how to search for our games. So as shown here, here's all of our, my games that is on basically UX0. So I see Crash Bandicoot. I also see Gran Turismo and I also have Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. But just since we're doing PlayStation 1 games, I'm going to show you guys on how to install it. So you could actually customize your bubble uh, image to make sure if you want to have a certain color background for your little bubble to show on your live area. I personally like to just have the black bubble since they kind of look more official and then what we need to do now is just go ahead and hit start and then from here you could go ahead and choose any extra settings if you need to be so if you want to set any images have any default colors you want to have the playstation button as your main menu to back out make sure you have that as well but once you have that installed what you can do is go ahead and click x over it you can name your game title id so since mine is just gran turismo i'm gonna just leave it like that go ahead and hit start again and then what should happen is the gran turismo will be converting its resources to basically make the .pbp file a actual bubble on our live area and it's basically installing right now so if i go ahead and back out and then right here here is gran turismo on my live area of my playstation vita or in your case it could be your playstation tv so right now what i'm going to do is just run the game as normal and then right now since i had adrenaline uh basically i didn't fix the bug with then you have to type it twice you just gotta go ahead and hit x over your playstation one game if you don't have that already installed but i'm going to be showcasing gran turismo on the screen so as shown here i am playing you know playstation one games via you know live area instead of going into the adrenaline emulator you could do both but i do prefer this method way more now since it's easier to access my games without you know going to a second app and then you know loading it from there but yeah here is gran turismo playing on my uh playstation vita and i won't play any sounds for uh this portion of the gran turismo since i don't want you know to get any copyright but yeah, that's essentially how you do this process. If you guys have any questions on how to do this, you can go ahead and leave some comments down below. If you guys did like this video, please be sure to share it with your friends. But with that being said, my name is Nagato and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.